an American has won the all-around title at every Worlds or Olympics since Mustafina in 2010. The best bet to keep the streak going will be Reagan Smith, the U.S. national champion who qualified in second by one one-thousandth of a point despite mistakes on two events. She has the highest total difficulty in the all-around competition, which gives her the power to decide her own destiny. Morgan Hurd proved herself to be worthy of the t-shirt she wore on the day before prelims, which declared her a badass woman, qualifying in sixth place. Artistic and expressive with the power to take a floor routine about being chased by a giant zombie worm and move certain people to tears who might be in the press area. She has come to her first world championships and shined on and off the competition floor with class and perspective far outstripping her 16 years. My Murakami qualified in first with an entirely mistake-free performance, the most composed and confident showing of the entire qualification competition. She's capable of the best vault and floor routines in the whole all around and has improved bars and beam enough to be able to compete with anyone. Ellie Black, Canada's great hope, qualified in third, has seemed completely unfazed by the prospect of competing in front of an adoring home crowd full of expectations of medal success. She has continued to improve in her 20s, looking better than she did in her fifth place Olympic performance. Yelena Yoromina is Russia's new senior and the class of the all-around field on uneven bars. She could ride that score to medal success along with a refreshing and reassuring consistency in her performances that haven't varied through training and competition all week. Melanie De Jesus Dos Santos, the confident Dos Santos bronze medalist at the European Championships, qualified a surprising fourth. She has no weaknesses and all-star power. And if anyone makes a mistake, she will be there to take advantage. Wild Card City features the likes of Russia's Angelina Melnikova, Switzerland's Julia Steingruber, and China's Wang Yan. Melnikova has struggled with consistency and possible injuries so far, which showed on floor in her qualification performance, but she still has the second highest total difficulty of anyone in the final, while Steingruber and Wang have the vault and floor scores to move ahead of most of their peers on a good day. 